everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Fun Time Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's out of polymer clay. I also want to apologize in advance for my nails in the first few clips. I was in the middle of moving while I filmed this and couldn't redo them until later into the video. I'm going to be using polymer clay, which is an oven baked clay, and some tools, including a blender tool and something to cut with. So I'm going to start by making the head, and to do this, I'm taking some white clay and just rolling it into an oval shape. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. And then in half once more. And then I'm just going to round out those edges and stick it back together. We're going to be creating the line in his face where his face usually splits apart. Um, and to do this, I'm using some black clay, rolling it really thin, and then putting it right in that line there in the center. And then I'm going to use my blending tool and just press it down so it looks like it's actually inside of that line. So next I'm going to be making his cheeks, and to do that I'm going to be taking some white clay and rolling it into a log, and then I'm cutting it so that it's slightly longer than his head is, um, as you can see here, because his cheeks stick out a little bit. And then I'm rolling some more black clay to fill in this line here. And then I'm going to start making his jaw. So for this, I'm starting with more white clay, and I'm just testing it on the top of the head to see if it's the right shape. And once it is, I'm cutting that in half to give it the split look again, um, and then adding more black clay in that line. And then I'm going to fill in the bottom of the jaw with black clay to make it look like his mouth is open, um, like this. And then I'm testing it to make sure it's the right size. And then I'm going to start making his nose area. Um, and for this, I'm taking some purplish pink clay, uh, cutting it in half again, filling that with black, and then adding his little black nose on the top. And then he also has a bunch of teeth in his mouth. So to make this, I actually rolled out some white clay and baked it in the oven so then I could cut it and just like stick it into the clay here so it was already hardened and baked. Um, so that they all came out pretty even and it was easy to put in his mouth. Um, and then as you can see here, I tried on the nose and then put all the teeth actually below that. Um, so this is how it looked after all the teeth were stuck on. So now I'm going to be moving on to his eyes. And to do this, I started by indenting where I thought his eyes should go. I actually think I could have made them a little bit bigger. He actually has a pink outline on his eyes. So to do this, I took a really thin snake of pink clay and just stuck it around where I had indented. So next I'm taking some black clay and I'm just squishing it really thin so that it fits right into those indents to give his eyes some more depth or so they'd look like eye sockets. And then I took some white clay and rolled two equal balls of this for his eyes. And then I actually took some gray and made like on top of his eyes, I guess they're shadows, um, so that they turned out like this. And then I'm taking some grayish clay because he has like grayish blue eyes. I wasn't exactly sure what color they were, but um, this is how they turned out. And then I just added a little pupil and a highlight to the eyes. I actually ended up taking off the shadow because I thought it looked kind of weird, um, but in the game he does actually have that. And then I added some eyebrows, which I made just by rolling two tiny little snakes of black clay and sticking them on. And then I started making the ears. So to do this, I made two little indents in his head because his ears kind of like come out of his head. So I stuck some black clay in there to give it like a shadowy look. Um, and then I took two pieces of black clay and I actually baked these in the oven as well so that I could just stick them into his head here. And that's where his ears would be connected to. And then to make the actual ears, I took some white clay, rolled it into two little ovals, um, and then I took the same pink clay that we used for his nose and just put it in the center of the ears there. And then just stuck those right onto the baked clay, it was super easy, so that they looked like robotic ears. So next I made his pink cheeks, and to do this I took two little balls of pink clay and just stuck them right onto his cheeks right there to give him those like little rosy cheeks he has. 
And then I started making his hat. And to do this, I rolled out a flat piece of black clay, stuck it right on the top of his head, and then just rolled out a little log of it as well and put that right on top. And then I gave him like a pink ribbon around his hat. And to do this, I just rolled out another piece of the same exact pink clay and stuck it right around his hat. So the head is finally done, yay! And we can move on to the body, which I honestly thought was the harder part because it kept falling apart for me and I also couldn't get the sizing right at first because look how small that body is! So eventually I made it bigger and this is what it turned out to look like. Um, and then I took some of that pink clay that we used for his nose. This is to make the like shoulder pieces that he has. I don't really know what to call them, but anyway, this is how I cut them into this kind of shape and I just stuck them onto the front of his body here. And then I blended them together so that it was one nice even look. And then I moved on to making his stomach. Um, this is the size of it. So I cut it into... I don't know what to call this shape either. But this is what it is. Little like half oval and I stuck it right on to be this kind of size. And then I'm taking some black clay, and this is actually going to be used under his body. Um, there's like a little bit of a gap between where his legs connect and where his like torso is. Um, so that's how I made that gap. And then I'm just sculpting this into this little shape um, for the lower half of his body. And then I'm making a little indent here and filling that with black clay, just to look like it does split in half like it does in the game. Um, and then I'm making the bow, so for this I'm taking more black clay and I just rolled out two triangles and a little ball and stuck it right below where those like shoulder pieces are. And then the buttons are just three pieces of black clay, one is bigger than the other two. And just like we did for the ears, I added some black pieces coming out just to help better connect his arms. Um, and then I actually baked that torso and then stuck on the two pink shoulder pieces um, so that we could just stick them on and not have any problems with that. And then here I'm starting to make his arms and to do this I just connected some like white pieces of clay, they're almost like marshmallow shapes, with a little circle of pink clay to give it that robotic look. This is going really fast but I started making the legs and to do that I just made two little marshmallow shapes again and then put a pink outline on the outside. Um, and then for his knees I made pink clay again, just like little... Um, circles that I squished and then two more white marshmallow shapes. I made these parts longer so that they would be like even to the body shape. Um, and then I'm making his feet here. So to do that I rolled out a little um, rectangle of white clay and then I indented where his toes are going to be um, just with the end of a paintbrush actually. And then I made this pink part that I stuck on the top. He just has some pink on the top. And then I rolled out some logs of white clay which he only has four toes so Stuck that right in where the indent is, and this is what it looks like. And then I actually went back and added a black line of clay onto his legs, because again, I think this is where they split, but um, I didn't add that originally. So now I'm going to be moving on to his hands, and I'm taking more of that like grayish color. Um, this is actually for the microphone that he's going to be holding in one of his hands. Um, and I made it with pink, and just this is the shape of it. Um, and then I actually made his hands around it, so I took another like little rectangle of white clay, had some pink on top, or actually underneath, um, indented where the microphone would go. So I think I pre-baked the microphone so that I could just sculpt around it without worrying about it getting squished. Um, and then I moved on to his fingers. So the one underneath is slightly smaller, um, it's just holding up the microphone. I did the exact same thing I did for the toes, just white clay. And then he has pink where his knuckles are, so I just took some really small pieces of pink clay and stuck them onto every single finger. So this is how his hand looks, and then to stick it on, I took a small piece of black clay, because there's a little bit of a gap between his wrist and his hand. And then for his other hand, we're actually going to be making the bonbon bon puppet. So for this, I'm taking a dark blue and a red. So this is going to be the shape of his head. It's a little oval with an indent in the top. And then I cut it in half so that the jaw size would be right. And instead of like Freddy's making it completely disconnected, I just filled it in with black clay so that it would be like super sturdy because it's so small. And for his teeth, I'm actually not baking them before this time. And I'm just sticking on little tiny balls of clay um, because it doesn't really matter. They're so small that no one's going to be able to tell if they're not perfectly square. 
and then I made some light blue clay for his nose and did the exact same thing I did for Freddy's nose where I cut it in half and then filled that line with the black clay and then just stuck his nose on top. And then using the red I made his two little cheeks, just stuck those circles on and then indented his eyes as well. I filled those indents with black clay and then with white clay on top and then his eyes are pink so I just made two little pink eyes and then added pupils and highlights as well. So to make sure he was the right size, I actually measured his body on Freddy's arm before, and then I added his belly, which is out of the light blue, and then I'm making his bow with the same red that we used for his cheeks, which is again two little triangles and a ball of red clay, and then he has one button, so that's just a ball of black clay as well. And then I moved on to making his ears, and to do this, I made two little ovals of the dark blue clay that we used for his body, and put two little ovals of the light blue on top to make it look disconnected. And then I moved on to his arms, which I made two little pieces of the dark blue clay and just stuck those together. And then the hands are just an oval of blue clay with, you know, like little paw pads out of the light blue. Um, so this is what he looks like put together. He actually fell apart for me in the oven so many times that I had to super glue him together just because he got like hot and fell apart almost. Um, and then I cleaned him off with just some water and soap just to get all the dust off. And here I am glazing him with my UV resin. I wanted to make him look like plastic. I got like mixed reviews about that in the comment section of my TikTok, but it was an intentional choice and I'm sticking by it. So here's what he looks like after he's all done and glazed. And I actually think he turned out super well. This was one of the bigger things that I've actually made. So it was a bit of a challenge, but I think he turned out well. And I hope you guys all like this video as well. Remember to leave a like and a subscribe if you did like this video because I'll be making more in the future. And I have some really cool ideas that'll be coming up. But before you guys go, look at this awesome art that someone sent to me. It was using my Axolotl tutorial and I think it turned out so cute and it's so good. They also said it was their first time using polymer clay, which is awesome. It turned out super well. I'm gonna leave my Discord in the description in case anyone else is also interested in joining that. That was a lot of talking. Anyway, bye guys.